Hello! In this tutorial we will take a look at how to interface a video camera to your FPGA using ADV7180 video decoder. In this video I am using D1 SOC board from Teresic. Ok, let's take a look at the project structure. The decoder delivers data in BT656 format using YCRCB color space. In this project we rewrite a simple BT656 interface, convert the image data to convenient RGB format, save it to SDRAM, and eventually output image on VGA monitor. I explained how to use SDRAM in my previous tutorial. Here we focus only on camera interfacing. First, let's take a look at BT656 interface. An image consists of two parts, odd and even. Each part is sent separately and then joined together to form the full picture. Between each field and line there is a blanking period, which carries very important information. There are two timing reference signals, at the beginning and at the end of each active video block. Each time and reference signal consists of four word sequence in the following format. The first three words are fixed. The first word contains information defining field identification and the state of field and line blanking. We are going to use the first word in our VGDO design in order to see when we should start and stop recording an image. For more information about how the first word is formed, Read the official datasheet. Alright, let's go on and look at BT656 interface component. This component is a simple state machine. The data from ADV7180 decoder enters 5 byte long buffer. Here we compare the buffer data with known timing sequences. First, we are looking for the start of the first frame. After it is detected, the state machine goes to the next state and looks for the start of active video. Next, it sets the active video flag and jumps to the next state. From this state, it can detect the end of active video and go back to the previous state, or it can detect the end of current field. If the end of the first field is detected, we repeat the whole process for the second field. While active video flag is set, we convert the video data to RGB format and save it to SDRAM. On default, ADV7180 outputs video in YCRCB422 encoding. After start active video flag, we receive color components in following order. Each Y component with its nearest neighbors forms one pixel. To convert YCRCB to RGB, we will use following formula. Since I don't want to use floating point mass on FPGA, I will replace such numbers as 1.371 with simple fractions. Multiplying a number by 11 and then dividing by 8 give us 1.375, which is pretty close to the desired number. Ok, here is YCRCB to RGB converter. The converter has a pipeline construction. In most of the cases, we create a pipeline by dividing a complex operation into simpler operations. As you can see, the output of one element is the input of the next one. Such design allows operation at much higher speed. The additional enable signal goes through the pipeline and signals if the output of the converter is valid. By the way, in my project I am using black and white camera, so I just need to save one color. Here is the main process. Once the start of new frame is detected, the reset is executed. And while active video flag is set, we assign incoming data to the corresponding color.
Each time he receives the Y component, we set the enable flag. Once the enable flag reaches the output of the converter, we know that the data is valid and write it to the dual clock FIFO. This process is transferring the data from the FIFO to SDRAM. I explained how it works in detail in my previous tutorial. In this video, I will just mention a few important things. While the FIFO is not empty, transfer data to SDRAM. If the end of the frame is detected, execute reset and move to the next state. Note, here I have two SDRAM read addresses. One points to the odd field and the other to the even field. In my project, I don't have a real frame buffer or a smart SDRAM multiplexer. As a result, the monitor will flicker while a new image is written to SDRAM. By the way, all project files are available on my GitHub. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe and comment. Now it's time for fun. I connected the CCD camera to my old cheap telescope. Here is the moon. The screen flickering is not so bad as it seems on the video. And this is Jupiter, and it's four moons. And finally, the Saturn. That's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you the next time.